Hey folks, last September in 2022, IBM had announced that it is going to make a thousand qubit quantum computer by 2023. This is an ambitious goal. Quantum computers and technologies, where are we? Let's chat. My name is Jacob Arya from Chandler, Arizona, and let's talk quantum technology. Is it just hype? Is it something real? Where are we at? And what are some things you can do to invest or follow or learn about the, this uh, technology? Quantum computer for long has been an attention grabbing headline, but it has still not come to a scale or a size where uh, you will be able to use it in your day to day life or activity or uh, or a job mostly uh, now the the some of the core reasons why it is not uh, uh, happening is that the base technologies which would enable a quantum computer is still not there even though we we talk about these attention grabbing headlines like a thousand qubit computer the underlying technologies has improved a lot. For example, uh, there have been significant advances in large qubit computers inside an atom. The production of uh, superconducting interferences, interference devices or, uh, uh, or devices which can create superconducting uh, interactions or uh, 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 or uh, do to perform uh, networking between these uh, these qubits have been manufactured at intermediate uh, scale. And last but not the least, uh, the the ability to protect quantum states from the noise which happens at sub-zero temperatures or non-sub-zero temperatures at times are also being uh, invented or discovered as we speak. Uh, roughly $1.5 billion have been invested by venture, cap venture capital's funding to, in this area, but these VCs are all still finding their best bet in, in this area. But this, this shows the technology still remains a uh, very, very, uh, very, very relevant. The big three or four things where the advances or more discoveries are needed uh, are uh, some peripheral classical uh, electronic or optical devices to control and measure quantum. Uh, there are also challenges or in, uh, inventions needed in non-linear optical elements or microfabrication foundries to create some of these quantum computers. Uh, we need some very compact and stable lasers. And last but not least, we need high performance cryogenic and laser fabrication techniques to isolate quantum technologies uh, from the environmental disturbance which exist in, in a non-zero uh, temperature. All this at scale. Um, I would say uh, for now, quantum in, if you are interested in quantum technologies, do two things. Learn about the basics of how a quantum computer works. And number two is figure out what are the enabling technologies which are under tremendous amount of inventions and discoveries for, for quantum computers. That's it for now, folks. Uh, quantum technology is live. It is changing as we speak. And just like you were talking about Gen AI in uh, 2015 and 16 and uh, 18, we are talking about quantum computers now and it's gonna become real anytime once there is a trigger, which is not predictable, obviously. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and I'm happy to uh, reach out if you want to collaborate. Thank you.